so this is a new uh, rope clamp from Caligo Marine, and it's for easily terminating um, torque ropes for spinnaker furlers, top-down spinnaker furlers, and uh, luff lines for screechers and code zeros. You can see it's made of two pieces here um, that are uh, held together by four bolts, two on each side, uh, with heads that are countersunk in to, uh, to help with protrusion. Um, and then it's got eight screws, four on each side, that actually screw right into the line. Um, and what that does, um, and, and we'll put the clamp on here in a second, I'll show you, but um, this clamps the two lines together uh, relatively tightly. Um, then when you drive these other four screws into each side, um, what that does is it expands the rope into the clamp. Um, so it makes the clamping force even higher. And then of course when, when you get to uh, really, really high loads, the, uh, the screws will actually hold the line from slipping out of the clamp also. But uh, it works pretty well. We have this in three sizes now for 3 to 6 millimeter line, uh, for 9 to 11 millimeter line, and for 12 to 15 millimeter lines. So what I'm going to do is show you now how to attach this. And it's relatively simple. You uh, just take the four screws out to allow the two halves to come apart. You can see we've got two halves. Now these halves are symmetric, so it's not a big deal. Uh, which one goes which and then what we're going to do is put this on our line terminator you can see here uh, now there's a couple tricks I'm going to go through real quick but the clamp is basically going to go on to the line like this and what you want to do is place this relatively close to the line terminator so it does have some clamping force to hold these two lines together because you don't want that slipping out also now there's, you can pop this in, this, this is our 9 millimeter torque line, um, so it goes in relatively easy. There is one little trick that I want to show you um, to make this a little bit easier to install. You can take a pair of pliers or channel locks in this case, squeeze this line together where the clamp's going to go on, and that's going to uh, form an oval. It's going to make the round rope into an oval. This to all, all the torque rope really that's out there is pretty stiff stuff, so it can be manipulated slightly. Um, which makes it easy to do things like this. So what we're going to do now is slide this rope clamp onto the line. You can see that one on a little bit easier. So now we're going to take and maneuver this clamp into the right position. And this is where one of the, the tougher things to do here is to get it to come together, especially when it's close. But again, it's all about the tools, right? So we're going to take and gently squeeze these two halves together like that. Now what we're going to do is see if we can get these started. And that's going to hold the clamp together. So we're going to start all four of these screws into the clamp into, to its opposite side. And again, we're having a little bit of trouble getting that started. So again, it's all about the tools. So we're going to squeeze this together and that's going to allow us to start that screw. And once we get it started, then we're going to put the other two in the other side. Now it's very easy to see how these go in. There's a countersunk head there, again to help with protrusions. So now that I've got all four screws started, I'm going to take my handy driver and do this the easy way. Make sure things are going the right way. And I'm just going to drive these four screws in all the way. Now these don't have to be super tight, but you obviously want them tight. So I'm going to drive all four of these in like this. Then you can see the two pieces of the clamp are all together. We still have our eight screws that are uh, that we're going to drive into the line. Now the way this is designed, at these for this piece of the line, we've got these four screws, and you can see they alternate from side to side. So that maximizes that expansion I was talking about earlier. So uh, what you do, and it doesn't matter which one you start with, you're just going to drive it in and they get a little bit tight at the end. That's exactly what you want. So we're just going to drive all four of these in on this side. Drive them 
until the head is seated. And you can see how that head is seated. So now, voila, we have the clamp installed, and that took all of about five minutes to install. Now, what's really nice about this clamp, you can take it off. It doesn't really damage the line, believe it or not. So when we put our torque ropes together, we leave a tail here about three inches on each side, each end. So you can actually adjust the link. That's one of the really nice things about this clamp. You can stick it on the boat. If uh, your link is, is off slightly, you can change that and fix it and optimize your rope length for your hoist length. So uh, that's it, the Caligo rope clamp. Again, it's in three sizes, available on our website or through retailers pretty much around the world. I'm John Frana. This is Caligo Marine. Thanks.